Okay, another thing you're going to do in this game is have a timer be counting up from zero so that way the player can see how long it's taken them to complete the race. So if they're going to play it multiple times and try to beat their own time, then they could. So in order to do that, uh, you need something to start the time at zero, and then you need something that's going to continue to add, a, add one point to the visible score every time a second passes. So uh, the best way to do that would be just to add some random object that you can have in your game. This object doesn't have to even be visible. You could go to change settings and you could scroll down and make it invisible. So it's just an object that's there that you can program but you're not going to see it in the game. So uh, we're going to start out by just, just leaving the win statement as an always statement. And we're going to go to do, oops wrong place, and find our timer why am I not finding the timer here oh I'm sorry I don't need the timer I'm just gonna do at the start of the game we're gonna set the score of the game so you're gonna always set score uh, pick a color maybe black would be good since it's just uh, a timer and we want to set it to zero and then after that's done we want to then switch to page two and we'll indent that so that they kind of go together but you know that's gonna happen first this really doesn't have to be indented that happens first and then we're gonna switch to page two and then on page two we're gonna say when and this is where we want timer when the timer gets to one second we want to go to game and we're gonna score a black point make sure it's the same color and one of them uh, so every time the timer gets a second, we're going to score one black point. And we don't want to switch back to any other pages. We want to just leave it here. So now if I play the game, I should still have my 3, 2, 1 countdown going on. You see the score is already set to zero. And then every time a second goes by, we're going to add one. Now this is really annoying. So uh, if you don't remember how to fix that, the way you're going to change that is go to world settings. And you're going to scroll down to the black, the score visibility for black. And right now it's on loud. That's why you see that showing up up there so I'm going to just change this to quiet you could do quiet labeled if you wanted to label what that is up there you could say elapsed time or, or something like that I'm just going to turn it off so it's going to be quiet and now when I play it Three, two, set to zero and we don't hear it we don't see it it's just up there on the top right so make sure you have a, a timer that counts up